political force status. Okay, we're going to be secret political force. Uh, form of government, I guess, that we're supporting. Absolute monarchy, bourgeois republic, constitutional monarchy, electoral monarchy. Which form of government should we support? I mean, if our ideology is elitism, it feels like some version of monarchism seems to be correct. Right? As opposed to a bourgeois republic, which doesn't seem as elitist, although it's a different type of elitism. Electoral monarchy? Constitutional? People are split. Let's go with um, constitutional monarchy. Our military policy... Anti-militarism? I don't know, maybe you should go militarism, because that's sort of like what we answered early on. But again, pacifists? Non-pacifists. Expansionists, isolationists. Expansionists, people... Alright, big votes for expansionism, so we're going to do that. Trade policy? Yeah, we'll go free trade, that sounds good. Economic policy? Market? Oh my god, I can't believe how much detail you've got in this. Market economy, natural... Natural economy. I wonder what that's like. Planned state control, state interventionism. Planned state. A lot of people want the state. All right. And our social policy will be compromised, apparently. There we go. Party of England has been established. The elitist party. This country is 25% more inclined to participate in wars. Oh, good. Elections are prohibited. All right. A sign. Embark on creating a political force. Sounds good to me. Okay, and let's verify. Yep, alright. So this counted as a new party. Now we have to decrease the unofficial support for William Party below 7%. So if we look over here, the Williams is actually at 10%, and we have 0% support. So how do we push... Or we could organize mass protests. Abuse of power, heavy taxes, unfair courts, flamboyance of the elite. There can be many reasons for people's discontent. They have nothing to lose, they march in demonstrations. Okay, so there we go. So we could support the elitist party. So temporary authority ruling force of Jacob drops 500. Aggression of the ruling party Jacob against elitist. So the Jacobian party, which are actually in control, will be pissed at us. But the support of our party is going to increase... Entropy increases. Chance of riots is increased by 100%. What? I love it. I'm gonna try to organize mass protests. Oh my god, hold on. This is like, this feels like um, the democracy game all of a sudden. So if we look at like, it's whiskey and chocolate. Okay, the intellectuals. If we click on them, the intellectuals need, they want order and they're 100% satisfied. I guess the size of this is probably how important it is, but they're fairly satisfied. Whereas way over here, um, tradition uh, is not being satisfied very well. Oh, now you have a party you need a leader for it. Perhaps. Yes. Okay, we're going to create a leader. Oh, the chosen party already has a leader. I guess because we created, we have control over it somewhat. We got whiskey and chocolate. What was that? Hey, Tony! I'm predicting a big rise in extremism in about two and a half hours from now. Boo! Boo! Boo, terrible. What else we got? Okay, mass protest, political force. So we've got those done. Create a leader, so there's nothing else there. Estates. Spread ideology, spreading religion. So we could push estates and make them more more prevalent. I guess, okay, let's open the manuscripts. So there's influence, oops, on estates, and then change of power, yeah. Elections. 
leader of political force. Yeah, that's pretty far forward, but... Support for political force. Support for political force reflects the level of approval of the actions of political force by the population. Support's divided. Official support. How do we boost it? Satisfaction of values. Support is influenced by ideologies and religion shared by population. So hold on. Maybe what I should have done is taken a look at some of these people. Figure out what they want. And then make a party that matches that? Just wondering if these guys have... Raise support for values opposing the ruling party. That's a good idea. So, the Williams... I don't know... Can we find out what, what their deal is, though? Okay, so, I mean, we can compare the numbers... For the support of here. No one's got strong support, but I mean, we have literally zero support. Okay, and this was the Jacobian. Okay. So, the officers here, they highly value security, and they're not feeling satisfied with that. Maybe we could make a political party? Oh, there we go. So, we could target these guys. So, and security depends on the following ideologies. Absolutism and capitalism. I'm wondering if we create a party that satisfies absolutism and capitalism and that will make the officers lean in this direction. If to lobby the estates? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Holy shit, there's even more details. What the hell? Oh my god, there's so much! Absolutism. And capitalism, which I guess would be a market economy. And pro-militarism. Political force current ideology already exists in the country. Because we already did an absolutism one. But it's... Wow, um... Mobilized soldiers. Not competitors. Cancel this a sec. Let's expand influence. Let's try to auto... Auto convince people to join. Okay, let's run that for a little bit. What I'm curious about is if we set it to max speed over here. I wonder if there's going to be a shift in some of these political preferences over time. If we just let it run for a little bit. Wait until you see the industry tab. So there's the economy tab, which we do have to look at. I guess we've got a few other things, right? Um, greatest minds, fine estate intellectuals tab within economies. Let's let's see about that. Let's let's see what we can do with the uh, the thinkers here. 
So, estate intellectuals. Oh, estates. Okay, okay, that's... Uh, we, we hit the screen before. Um... What do the intellectuals look like? Okay. Alright, so we found that. Great. Now what? Security of needs of the intellectuals must be higher than 90%. Okay. Satisfaction of needs. It's whiskey and chocolate! How do we see their specific satisfaction of security need? There was that other screen. They consume art objects, delicacies, consumer goods, fine clothes, clothing, food. This reminds me a little of Anno. Yeah, how do we find... Oh, yeah, someone said, oh wow, the Industries tab has so much. Wow, this is a complex game! It has a lot going on. You need more than two hours, not even scratching the surface. When you kind of write, I know that when we went to society over here, and then we found intellectuals, um, or, or whoever over here, there you go, intellectuals, there we could see, um, so somewhere in here is their security need. No, that's privileges. I mean, that's order. Quality, change, security, right over here. So, we need to somehow boost their security. Available sufficient means to survive. Satisfaction of value is 100 when the state has enough funds to buy the goods it consumes. So, their security needs, so it's about securing their goods. So, they need to have enough money to satisfy all the needs they've got. But how do we do that? Security of needs. Daily basic luxury, yep. Yeah. Each estate zone set of goods corresponding. Basic needs are the most urgent. Right. So. Oh, there's the values. Oh, I see. Okay. There, there was the, the screen. Now I get it. So uh, from this tab, I open up this. But then there's also the estate values, and then I also have to click on them and find them there. Okay, so we need to make sure that these intellectuals are getting everything they need over here. Need to satisfy 53%, 67%, 50%. Even the basic needs are lower. So how do we get them more stuff? I think we're out of easy mode. I agree. It's like, can, can the tutorial be more? So how do we get them more resources? And this is this where we kick into the industrial tabs? Goods and product of industries. States pay for themselves. Good purchase for industries pay for it. Yeah. So I mean, there are buttons above the portraits list in the estates view. Maybe there. Oh no! You so you you mean um, like these buttons? Yeah. The, the, but that's just tabs. These are not buttons. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, they these go to more information. So, England has a bunch of food. Global prices. So, food farms, cattle farms, fishing grounds, hunting grounds lead to food, which then gets distributed. Okay, a bunch of these have 100%, but some do not. 
right? So the aristocrats and the uh, higher clergy are at 100%. But our intellectuals are not. So why aren't they being satisfied? Enough by food. Is there not enough food or do they not have enough money? So I can't click on... These are not buttons. This is the labor they produce. Okay, they produce a couple of different types of labors. If you watch closely enough, you can see Quill's brain mode thing. Yeah, like this is such a deep and complex game. Which is excellent and exactly the sort of thing we like to play. Yeah, it would be nice. Oh, Secret Government, are you in the chat? Because, yeah, I agree. It would be really nice if when we switch between estates and the estates here, the estate values and the estates, it would be nice if it, if it kept the same um, the same group open. So I could go between intellectuals here and then here still be on intellectuals. Or even if you just remember the last thing I went on, that would be quite handy. Whiskey and chocolate that I miss. Thank you. Oh, okay. I have too many tabs open. That's not helping things. There we go. Do, do, do. Oh, playing Ghost Hills! Despair not will inspire you by charging blindly on! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing... Okay, if we make more food, it becomes cheaper and more available. I, I agree with that sort of thinking. Now, is that something we can do? Maybe we can tweak laws? I don't think we've got the ability to influence that, though. Oh, hold on. Yes, actually, we can. Because we have control over the government and the ability to tweak things. Okay, these are taxes. Export tax, import tax. We could lower import tax on various resources, maybe. So food over here. Or we could tax exports more. Economic priorities. Hold on. That allows prioritize in providing industries and estates the resources or services they need. Can I prioritize intellectuals? Medium, low. Can I set them to high? And which one is it? Ah. Current status is low for intellectuals. Okay. So let's set them to a medium priority. Since I have influence in the government enough to do this kind of thing. Maybe we should get like more of these government roles. Minister of Trade. So we don't have you. Zero percent chance. Oh, you don't like philosophers. But I got a 70% chance. Well, let's try with bribery. Ministry of Industry. Minister of Industry. Oh, we need an idle master, I think. Good. You have joined us. Minister of Industry seems something that would be pretty useful. You'll lose loyalty if we intimidate you, which will presumably bring your loyalty down to zero, which sounds bad. Now, let's, let's just go for Persuade so we can get the plus one. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, I don't know if the, uh, the apparently the official secret government Twitter is in here, and I don't know if they, uh, they give some hints. There's a lot of chat that's going pretty fast here in terms of how to influence these fellers. Also, yeah, our party support. So this is still, I was going to give it a little bit of time, see how it was going to go. But now I'm like, how does it go? We still have 0% support for the elite party. And I don't know how we tweak that. Like, how do we, like, bribe these guys specifically to tell them that, like, this is totally the party you should be supporting? Oh, Cedric, community manager for secret government. Cool, man. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we don't have enough intellectuals either. Attracting immigrants. Increase the size. 
Mako! Spy harder. Also, is there no Scotland? Like, England is just literally England, Scotland. So basically, this is like Great Britain, including, like, or the United Kingdom, including all of Ireland. Or, hold on. I don't think that's how they started. I think there's been military con conquest. Remember? Like, Venice is here. Yeah, th th things have happened. Women's support has gone up, not down. Yep. Yeah. So, intellectuals, how you doing? Um, I can remember how to get to, to you. And your security need. I don't think it's changed. What would Vanis do in Scandinavia? They're probably just, like, opening trade posts and things like that. That's what they do. What else has gone weird? Uh, I mean, Spain controls all that, which... Papal State's pretty big. Savoy's doing decently for itself. Brandenburg still exists, which is good. Mm -hmm. Maybe the way is established just on territory instead of the whole country. Oh, perhaps, because, okay, so this is support everywhere. If we just look at regions. But yeah, we still have, we still have, um, unofficial support zero everywhere. We need to print more pamphlets is what we need. We're like Korg in, uh, Thor Ragnarok, right? Revolution's not working out because we didn't print enough pamphlets. Austria's up in Finland. Yeah, that was, that's the case for a little while, yep. We could take a look at the actions that people have here. Brotherhood. So exploit the state post, hide activity. So that's not what we need. Government. So we do have this because there's expand influence and then sabotages. Explore power structure, compromise officials. And I think that's the case for all of them for government. It says that. So those are all the same. Then we've got competitors, which is how we deal with enemy agents as far as I understand. So finally, we have official powers. Leave office, social mobility law, restrictions on social mobility. So really the difference is their official powers. So slavery law, property law, economic priorities for industries. So we can choose an industry and try to increase the economic priority of that. So if we wanted more food, we could say, listen, we want to make the food farms priority high. Maybe that's a thing we can do. If that's what we think is maybe recruiting some of that. Mm -hmm. That's kicking for goodness. Make sure you capture the enemy brother over here and interrogate him. Could be crucial. And okay. So we should send someone to Falls. So let's send you, Brother Ellison, to Falls. Because that's where this guy is. Require more Vespine gas? Ah! And oh, can I prioritize intellectual jobs? Okay, this is England I've got selected. Um, economic priorities for estates. Yeah, we've got them set to medium, which is as high as we can go with the intellectuals. Oh, funding of institutions. The level of funding countries and institutions by the treasury. The level of funding is calculated as a percentage of funds received by the treasury minus the cost. Yeah, but we don't get to choose... I'm not choosing an estate. I get to choose that, but they're already set to medium. Or that, yeah, it's medium, which is as high as it gets. We set economic prop things, property laws, intellectuals. Oh, um, intellectuals are not allowed to own property, so we could change it to permit. Oh, under absolute monarchy, former government, it's possible to change law for the estate of intellectuals. Okay. Nope. All right. Someone else lower down should help reduce. Oh, so someone else in one of these positions. Tax minister, minister of trade, chief justice, ministry of industry, a herald. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, we can tweak immigration. Okay, right now it is permitted for intellectuals to immigrate. We could deny their emigration, perhaps. Would this actually increase the amount of intellectuals who would immigrate? Also, national voting rights, religious votes, peace talks. There's no one in this position right now. We'll have to wait till they're hired. Ministry taxes, impose embargo, convince the elite to build roads. We're just talking about roads. Um, oh, you have to be recruited. There, we'll give that a go and see what we can do. Drills. Disperse protests, fight against smugglers. Okay, yeah, more of these positions do have interesting stuff. Having more intellectuals sound bad for the security when you can't feed them as much as you want. A little bit. And yes, it is Baldur's Gate 2 time. So obviously, like, we've played this for two hours, and we've just barely scratched the surface of this game. There's an insane amount of stuff just in here. It is very, 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 very crunchy. We didn't even look at all the map modes, you know? Um, well, I like that there's an awareness map mode to keep track of things. That's, that's quite cool. Um, ideologies. Oh, look at this. Tribalism, feudalism, theocracy. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Population levels, trade, nationalities, public order. Yes, again, high public order is good for stability, but sometimes makes it harder for us to do our things. Religious filter we looked at, relations, political... I mean, and a bunch of these even have sub-filters as well, right? Opponents' lodges that we might know about, opponents' agents, country names. Oh, we're toggling them on and off, I guess. So, yeah. Pretty crazy. Uh, so this was a sponsored stream uh, by the secret government people. Uh, if you do exclamation mark what game, you will get a link to the Steam page where you can check it out yourself. It just it just left early access a couple of days ago, I think. Low public order is great for discrediting the parties in power. Ah, why is Venice in Norway? Because I guess they built enough boats and they were like, you know what? These Vikings, we're going to do a reverse Viking on them. And then France agreed and Spain agreed. Like... <laughs> There is no more Scandinavia. Literally. Literally, there's no more Scandinavia. There's no Finland, there's no Sweden, there's no Norway. They do not exist independently. Yeah, hashtag blame the Habsburgs. <laughs> uh, and Austria went for the finishing blow. hey -o! Um, Right, uh, hold on, which one of these is Austria? Oh, it is this one. This is Austria. I don't know, the, uh, the title. It's because in the middle of this blob over here, which is Spain, they put the name text over there, which makes sense. But yeah. Uh, so we're going to wrap up Secret Government over here. Uh, we're going to take a short break, and we're going to come back for the second part of our big, uh, big double feature Saturday stream. And we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 2. Free the Nords. That would be fun. That's some very alternate history. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, and Secret Government dropped a link to the uh, the Discord for the uh, the game as well let me just check make sure there's nothing sitting in my email reminding me of anything i needed to deal with um as an emergency nope everything looks clear so i think we're good so we're going to take a we're going to take a short break uh everyone get up stretch your legs get yourself some more water get hydrated and we're going to come back and we're going to uh sword fight some people in Baldur's gate and thanks for stopping by official uh, was it cedric i don't remember i may have remembered your name wrong but official secret government uh tw um uh, Twitch channel, thank you very much for stopping by and answering some questions. That is super duper handy. All right, folks. Yeah, Cedric. Excellent. I have a memory. Barely. See you guys in a few minutes. <laughs>